In a reassure sportsmanship, Sumaila Sise not only called to congratulate Ibrahim Bubaka Keita, but paid him a courtesy visit on Monday with his family. Sumaila Sise's concessions avert a protracted election fight, allowing Mali to move her head with establishing a democratically elected government, one of the international community's caveats for unlocking some $4 billion in promised aid. Sumaila Sise Tuesday made an emotional entry into the Salam Hotel amidst cheers and ovation from his supporters and fans, although a little down but still looking gallant in defeat. Sise says he is accepting defeat because of the fragile state of Mali in spite of the imperfection of the presidential election. I can't blame anyone or complain because everyone did his or her job during this election. I am not going to cause trouble for my country as a result of the election not tilting towards me. Whatever the law of the country says is final. After all, this is not my first time to lose an election of this magnitude. I contested and lost in 2002. Ibrahim Bubaka Keita ran for the presidency in the two previous elections of 2002 and 2007. He also served as a foreign minister and national assembly speaker during his long tenure in Mali government. During his campaign, he ran on the pledge of restoring honor of the country, ravaged by an Islamic insurgent that overtook the northern half of the country until French forces arrived in January to oust them from power. For short of the crisis, we know the subprime. My country was being taken over by rebellion and people are concerned. We are Mali and cannot give away our country. I do hope this crisis will change soon. Voter participation in the town of Kidal, the stronghold of the national movement for the liberation of Azawad, was a mere 12% in the first round as the group vows not to pledge allegiance to Mali or its new president regardless of who won. Talks with the rebels from Azawad are due to begin within 60 days of formation of Keita's government and many Malians remain wary of negotiating with the group but other stakeholders say it should be topmost on the priority list of the new government to avert more disaster. Ayodelius Ubaku, TVC News, Bamako, Mali.